Hello, I'm First Lady Kathy Evers. During my time as First Lady, I have been working to increase support for individuals with dementia and their caregivers. A great leader in this work is the UW Medicine School of Medicine and Public Health through their Alzheimer's disease program. They are doing world-renowned research on the early detection and prevention of Alzheimer's. Today, I am joined by Dr. Okonkwo, who pioneered an approach that measures how physical activity changes the brain to protect against dementia. His scientific method is now used around the world. I heard you call physical activity a potential game changer when it comes to protecting against dementia. Tell me what you mean by that. So at this point, we believe that physical activity is one of the most potent ways that individuals can begin to take action against potential risks for Alzheimer's and other dementias. So first of all, physical activity does not have any side effects if done safely. Secondly, it's extremely cheap, you know, and it doesn't cost nothing to go for a walk or a little jog, a little run, or to just do some fun activities with, with friends. And most importantly, it can actually be fun and enjoyable. So yes, it is a game changer for the fight against Alzheimer's and other dementias. Well, the governor and I really like to hike, bike, and play pickleball. I don't know if you're familiar with pickleball. But yes, I am. <laughs> okay. It's pretty fun, actually. Yeah, we, yes. we really enjoy it. Um, That's so wonderful. So do these activities stack up to what you're talking about? I know when I bike, I'm concerned about going uphill. Yes. So I either you know try to avoid going uphill, or I want to walk uphill with the bike. <laughs> with the bike, <laughs> with the bike. Right? Yes. the bike uphill. So, I do that too. Okay. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> but I suppose I should probably do more intense type exercise too, right? Intensity is a relative term. What for one individual is um, very light physical activity, very light exercise for somebody else can actually be very moderate or very intense or vigorous physical activity, depending on the individual's level of conditioning. And that is why we like to talk about relative intensity. There are three levels of physical activity. There is light, there's moderate, and there's vigorous. Science has shown, shown that the um, level of physical activity that has the most impact against um, cognitive um, decline, dementia, Alzheimer's, is that sweet spot called moderate intensity physical activity. So we are going up those, those hills and it's becoming extremely hard to even think. Yeah. <laughs> you probably are walking at a very vigorous level of intensity and it's okay to get off the, the bike and walk it up the hill. Because I'm, I'm okay. okay doing that. Yes. So I, I can tell Tony that there's that's, no problem with that's me right, walking up exactly. this hill. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a time, you know, that you should be, you know, start light, go to moderate, go to intense and keep switching back and forth between the levels? Is that part of it too? Or? The body of evidence that we currently have indicates that I'm um, staying at that moderate level of intensity is what has been shown to have the most benefit and um, the most impact in protecting against cognitive decline and also dementia and Alzheimer's. But we also know, you know, um, that exercise is, is not just um, a tool for keeping the, the brain sharp. Exercise plays other roles for the overall well-being of the, of the individual too. And for, and for that purpose, you know, um, light exercise is, is just as useful and helpful as moderate or vigorous physical activity. Yeah, I, I see myself too, if, if you feel like you're in a stressful situation or something, just going out for a walk, or even around the residence and stuff, yes. certainly does help, which then I'm doing good for myself with my Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you know, it's interesting you mentioned stress, you know, because evidence also is starting to suggest that stress actually plays a role, not just in our emotional well-being as a whole, but also on our brain, you know. High levels of stress are not good, you know, it's not good for the, for the brain. And so anything that we can do to minimize the um, amount of stress we endure every day is something that could have potentially long-term impact in helping us maintain brain, brain health for a long, uh, a long period of time in our lives. Do you have advice besides physical activity for folks who have a history of dementia in their families and who simply want to focus on good brain um, health? 
Um, physical activity is it, so even though we believe that it, it plays a key role in the fight against dementia or cognitive decline with aging, it's only one of several what we call modifiable lifestyle factors that can protect against dementia. Other ones you're familiar with are sleep, a good sleep hygiene. You mentioned stress. Stress is a big one. There is diet. There is engaging in mentally stimulating activities like playing cards, puzzles, checkers. Um, there's also just the very act of being socially engaged with others. Um, but we believe that you know the, the best ap ap you know, approach is for an individual to attempt to use as many of these tools over the course of a week or a month as possible. Now I'm assuming too that time in your life doesn't matter. You should be absolutely. Doing that, so right? in fact, that is. So, you know, I am. I am so so glad you mentioned this because you know our research and the research of others shows that it is never too late to begin any of these activities. You know, we've seen folks who have never exercised all their lives and they come into our lab at the age of 65, 70 and they begin um, a regimen of physical activity and we see very clear um, changes in their brain and cognitive health over time. Something like even deciding to sit less and just stand more, even something that small makes a huge difference. You want to be the best version of yourself and what that looks like for each individual is very different. So you start small and then you build. And the most important um, um, suggestion we offer is persist. Persist and persist. Because you know, as with any, any change, change is difficult for all of us. Change in any area of life is difficult. So persist, persist and persist and it pays off at the end. The governor and I are so appreciative of the great research being done at UW-Madison and how that research is used to support folks with dementia and their caregivers around the state. And thank you to Dr. Okonkwo for this great reminder of the importance of physical activity for brain health.